Hello, uh, I'm Mike Mazzalongo and this is the Bible Talk video blog. I want to read you a passage of scripture from uh, Exodus chapter 15. If you happen to have a Bible, read along with me. Exodus chapter 15, beginning in verse one says, Then Moses and the sons of Israel sang this song to the Lord and said, I will sing to the Lord for He is highly exalted. The horse and its rider He has hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and song, and He has become my salvation. This is my God, and I will praise Him, my Father's God, and I will extol Him. The Lord is a warrior, the Lord is His name. Pharaoh's chariots and His army He has cast into the sea, and the choicest of His officers are drowned in the Red Sea. The deeps cover them, they went down into the depths like a stone. Thy right hand, O Lord, is majestic in power. Thy right hand, O Lord, shatters the enemy. And in the greatness of thine excellence, thou dost overthrow those who rise up against thee. Thou dost send forth thy burning anger, and it consumes them as chaff. Kind of a long passage I wanted to read to you. Um, it's actually a song. This is actually a song and a prayer that was sung after God defeated the Egyptian army by drowning them in the Red Sea. I think we're familiar with that story of Moses as he leads the people uh, out of uh, Egypt uh, into the uh, desert. And we know uh, that uh, the Israelites had escaped Egyptian slavery um, uh, with their leader Moses. And at one point the people were trapped. Uh, they were trapped at the sea. Uh, uh, the sea was at their back and the murderous uh, Egyptian army was uh, heading towards them. Uh, they were truly between uh, not a rock and a hard place, but water and a difficult uh, place that they had. So what, does, what happened? So God instructs Moses to raise his staff over the sea, and when he did, the water parted, allowing, allowing the people to pass through safely onto the, onto the other side. And so when Pharaoh and his army tried to pursue them, God caused the water to return and drown the entire Egyptian army uh, under uh, the Red Sea. So after this great response, Moses and the people sang this song of victory, a portion of which um, I just read you. Now, one of the verses speaks to the developing faith of the Jewish people as they went from fear to uh, fear to doubt to complete faith in the Lord. That was their kind of progression, if you will. They were afraid, they doubted the Lord could do it, and then they had tremendous joy and praise. And the people said it in this way, I'll read uh, one verse over again, uh, in verse two. Uh, Moses says, the Lord is my strength and my song, and He has become my salvation. Interesting point here. How many of us go through a similar experience in our Christian walk today? You know, we have a lifetime of experiencing and knowing God as the object of our prayers, the object of our praise, but we have few instances of knowing Him as our Savior, like He saved us. You know, if you fell out of a boat and somebody threw a, threw a, a rope to you and you would say, wow, that guy saved me. How many of us see the Lord as our Savior? Oh yes, we, we make the good confession of faith at baptism. Someone will say, do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God? And in order to you know, have the right form and to answer in the right way, we say, yes, I believe that Jesus is the Son of God or He's my personal Savior, so on and so forth. But when was the last time He actually saved you? you know, the Lord who saves our souls at baptism is also our Savior on an everyday basis as well whether it's to part the sea of trouble and suffering in order to enable us to survive a, a great illness or a great disappointment or a great loss or sadness, or uh, if He's the Lord who multiplies our meager resources so we can succeed in accomplishing something that seems absolutely impossible for us to succeed, you know, a mountain too high to climb, a bridge too far to reach. The Lord is an everyday Savior for those who call on Him in faith every day of their lives. Yes, He saves us on the day that we come to Him in repentance and baptism, but He goes on saving us day after day after day, not just in a spiritual way, but in a very physical way as well. You know, human nature hasn't changed much in 3,500 years since Moses sang this, this song. God had to remind the people at that time 
to ask for his help when they were caught between a murderous army and a deadly sea. And it's no different today. So consider yourself reminded and having been so, don't be afraid and don't be embarrassed and don't be too proud to ask him to save you no matter what the situation and no matter what the problem may be. If he can save the people <laughs> from being destroyed either by an army or a sea, surely he can help you with the difficulty that you have today. Well, that's the video blog. If you should need prayer or assistance or Bible study in any way, please feel free to contact me, mike at bibletalk.tv. God bless you. We'll see you again soon.